Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutor Aspa. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to do for scrolling by using JavaScript executor in robotic framework. Uh, scrolling means we can able to horizontal and vertical we can able to do it. Horizontal nothing is there then we can able to vertical. The same format we can able to do it for the browser level also. You can able to horizontal but if you are going to do in inspect also we can't do x path for this particular one or element anything we can't do because it is a, a one kind of menu bar type and it is not presented we can't able to find any locator then how we can able to do automation for this scrolling means we can able to use by using javascript that how we can able to achieve our in a robotic framework okay and here first we need to use for execute javascript execute commander and here we can able to use window dot scroll to scroll to is nothing but in the location if you are providing for coordination up to that coordination it will scroll down okay if you are a ce and we have to use for up to pixel number and up to we can able to element element means nothing but locator and end of that title uh, end of the uh, page we can able to go it first we are going to watching for the pixel number I provide the pixel number and just I'm going to move for that particular location okay up to thousand pixel I'm going to move my location uh, scrolling the page Again, able to see now it is scrolling down. You can able to scroll down, it has happened, then it is closed. Okay, now this is a one case, and another case is up to scroll element to view. Scroll element to view means it will ask you for some location, some web locator. And in case my case, it is I'm going to down. I'm coming in this web table. I have to move my uh, locator into this particular location. I'm going to copy for xpath. Copying xpath. I have to move my scroll bar into up to here. How means in the xpath specifying here. Now we can able to see my scroll bar. It will come to up to web table okay up to web table it will scroll down means we are moving more now we are achieving second condition that is moving our scroll bar into up to web element okay and third case is we need to move our scroll bar into end of the page that will achieve once it is completed now you can able to see my web table is presented here Okay, now we achieve in two cases and third case we need to see for scrolling down up to end of the page. And I used documentation and this is the one we need to provide actually uh, because it is very sensitive information. If you are not use the proper naming convention, it will not work. If you are not able to see that particular one, you can able to copy paste and enter into Google. It is not working. Then you can able to find the exact syntax for that. Okay. Now our third case is moving for end of that page. Our scroll bar need to come down. And maybe you will get some doubt also if it is coming down how to go for top again that also will show now my scroll bar is down okay now again here I'm going to doing again this score and I'm just adding for minus if I add the minus, what will happen? Again, it will take for zero position. Means zero zero position means in the top position it will come. Now you can able to see the two seconds it will wait, and it will scroll up again 
and it will two seconds it will wait and it will close the browser now again able to scroll down it is happen scroll up again and it will close it okay this is the way we can able to do for scrolling by using javascript executor i hope you understand this video if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to give some comments on this video thank you